I had a question. Is there any like misconceptions about Rich the Kid that people have? He's a rich. What's good, man? Can you hear me properly? Yeah, yeah, I can. What's going on, bro? All right, cool. What's going on with you, man? What are you up to today? Man, man, downtown Atlanta right now. So, oh, it's, uh, are you are you uh, from Atlanta? Yeah. Oh, okay, you're from there. Okay, no wonder. Yeah, yeah. I was just, um, man, I was excited to interview you because I think I, I saw you on this hip-hop page before. I forget the name of it, but they showed your song No Cap with Rich yeah. the Kid. I was like, yo, this is pretty sick. And um, that got me to like listen to your older stuff. And then I just, I kind of like that you mix the rapping with singing together. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I really liked it. So I was like, you know what? This guy's also super young too. I want to I wanna interview him. How old are you? I'm 19. Yeah. You're 19 years old? Yeah, I'm 19. Yo, I'm 19 too. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I think we both don't look 19. Yo, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, oh my god. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't think you like to. That's crazy. How old do you think I look? Like twenty five. Yeah, no, nah, I got that. I got that. I mean whatever, that's that's awesome. Like you're doing what you're doing at nineteen, so I mean that's just I yeah. fuck with that. Thank you so much. For sure, man. Um I uh, I wanna interview you, so I checked out some of your older ones. Um the one with DJ Small Eyes. Uh, I'm guessing you've seen that full interview, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it. That was cool. I, I I listened to that for some information, but I just feel like yeah, with his interviews, I don't know. I respect the dude a lot, but they're always like interrogations, you know. Yeah, they be awesome. Yeah, just talking. Like, actually, like, oh, oh no, yeah, it's like an interrogation. Yeah, you can say that for sure, for sure. But um, yeah. So I mean, you're from Atlanta. Tell me a bit about um how it was like growing up, because I know in one of the interviews you said that um it was a bit of a rough environment and you didn't want to get involved with with certain things. Uh, like what was that? Yeah, yeah, like, it was kind of rough, but like, I didn't want to get involved with, like, you know what I'm saying, like, constantly getting in trouble, because I was already fighting stuff, you know what I'm saying, so I was already getting some time, you know what I'm saying, some stuff, so I was like, man, I'm chill out, I ain't trying to do that, so that's how, I went. like, it's typically with every hood, you know what I'm saying, every hood, like, you go through it, you know what I'm saying, you go through some stuff, then you got some friends that floor and they be trying to get you to do so, trying to do that. You just gotta have your own mindset, really. So mm -hmm. yeah. It was challenging. But it was great growing up, but I know I was great growing up. It was challenging. It was challenging. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, was were the fights happening a lot in high school, I'm guessing? Yeah, high school, yeah. I was fighting high school back to back. Yeah. I got kicked out of high school. Oh really? For fighting? Damn. So, so how did you like school in general? Like, were you were you really like smart? Were you about the grades or or no? Of course, I was smart. See, I I love I love to read. Like, I was reading like paragraphs. Like, I write paragraphs in a minute. Really? Yeah. So, like so English, was, English class, you're good at that. No, no, that was my favorite. That was, that was my favorite subject. That ain't my favorite. Yeah, that was my favorite subject. That and yeah. P. That and PE. Yeah, okay. the PE. That's it. For sure. English PE. Oh God, that's what I was. Saying. <laughs> that's what I was gonna say that too, but I was like, nah, I don't want that PE. 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 That's lit. lit. So you're from Atlanta. I want to know right off the bat, like, who are your top three Atlanta artists of all time? Because I listen to a lot of Atlanta music. Mm, top three of all time. Just, just to get a sense of like what you like, you know. You said top three at Atlanta? Yeah. Of all time. Of all time. Top three in Atlanta of all time. Uh, I'll put, I'll put, uh, I'm, I'm going to put Tip in there. I'm going to put Tip in there. Okay, that's one. You know what I'm Two, I'm going to put, I'm going to put Thug in there. You got to, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I I say the same thing. I don't. I wouldn't put Ti there just because I don't listen to his music that much. But I'm you grew up there, so you knew how important he was to Atlanta. Yeah, because that's Ti. I mean, like, I mean, no, nah, I take I take that back. I take that back. No, 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 I take that back. <laughs> Thug, Future. I'm gonna say Thug, Future, and Twenty One. Twenty One Savage. It's pretty early to say that. But Twenty One came with it different. You know what I'm saying? Like Twenty One. No, 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 no. And we count. I, I ain't gonna lie, no, 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 I'll take that back. One more time, I take that back. One more time, I got it. Right, man. I, oh, man, I can't even do that. I got it. Okay, I'm gonna say Thug, Future, and Bank Roll French. That's really, mm. that's really, because okay. Bank Roll was really, people don't give him that, that, that story she really. I'm saying, because he got killed or whatever. 
I'm saying, but he really was that like that that really hood talking and really living that for real life. Yeah. Before you know what I'm saying, before all the other rivals was rising type of like it was bankroll fresh. People don't even know that. But you know, for a fact. You, um, feel, you feel like he has a lot of influence in Atlanta to other rappers? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Everybody know bankroll. You can't you can't say nobody you ain't listen to bankroll. You know what I'm saying? You ain't never no, uh, the bankroll, for real, like so. For sure, for sure, and, and I think I think also Migos once their once their career is done, they're yeah. gonna get the respect. Yeah, Migos, oh yeah, support them. Gotta support Migos, crazy. Mm-hmm. For yeah. sure. So, so hard. yeah, hard. I mean they're they're definitely like impactful. Um, I want to know. Yeah. So if you just say top five, they will do the top five. Yeah, it's kind of hard yeah. to narrow it down. Yeah. It's kind of hard to narrow it down because you're from a city yeah. where there's just like so many. Crazy artists. I don't know. I'm from Vancouver, by the way, so there's not many like. Oh, you from Vancouver? That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, tell me, you're talking about high school. Tell me a bit about um after high school. Did you go to college or like how was that? I pulled out, so I pulled out so like so I can't I can't say like I said I got my diploma and everything. Boom! So as soon as I high school, I flew to LA. I was out in LA and I was on tour already. I was just on tour. I was just when I got out of school. How is that possible? Which put me on tour, so boom! I just did that, and I just got like, like fast. I ain't, I couldn't go to college because I was already young. It was like, yo, yeah, what you gonna do? I thought, but I was like, I should go because I still can't. Cause I'm still nineteen, so I'm like, yeah, I should. You know what I'm saying? I should just go back to go back to school, but like online, oh, so like, I won't because I'm trying to still be as smarter, like have an advantage. You know what I'm saying? As other rappers, you know what I'm saying I'm trying to really get smarter. Really. Saying get into way more stuff. So, well, well, do your parents want you to go back to school? Do your parents want you to go back to school? Yeah, they like they like you should. Why not? Get more education. But then that's that, that but then that takes away from your time because your time right now is really valuable. You know, it's going to take away from your time right now. Yeah, yeah, it is. See, that's why I was like, I don't want to because I I feel like I lose myself. Mm. That's why I don't really because I I really feel like I lose myself. Uh, the books, how I'm gonna put the books in the. I say in the list, man, studio time, late, that, no, no. Mm. It just doesn't make it, sense. It'll come out that way. Hits is not coming out that way. Exactly. Hit, yeah. Hits are not going to come out after you write your final exam. Like, isn't, that's not how it works. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, you're talking about how Rich the Kid took you on tour at such a young age, right? Um, mm-hmm. I know you probably get asked this in, like, every single interview, but I still kind of got to ask you, like, tell me a bit about how you got signed to Rich the Kid and how, like, how does someone take you on tour at such a young age? Um, see, he, he found me on SoundCloud. He heard, he heard Leave Me Alone on SoundCloud. Mm. So he heard Leave Me Alone on SoundCloud. He was like, oh, this hard. So he flew me out, like, like instantly. Went to L.A. Went to L.A. I made some songs on him. Like, bro, come on. So I don't care if you more. And then now, like, I'm just, hey, you know what I'm saying? Rich you did. It was that quick. It was that. That's way too quick, man. But if like on SoundCloud, how does such a big rapper find you like that? Because it's either on SoundCloud you're getting like millions of plays, or people it's kind of hard for them to find you. Because you know, I on, on Instagram it's easier. Yeah, he was like, see, he found me on SoundCloud. Somebody was like, hey, yo, check out, check out, you know what I'm saying? He been going crazy. So I guess somebody texted to him or sent it to him, and he just like the link, and he just. Sitting on here like yo, this hard. Like I can't even. Like, I just really, I I have to meet. I have to meet him. Like so, he picked up the phone. Like, he called me for him. I let my foot, my parents know. Like it's crazy. I flew off now. I'm like I guess it's time. For sure. So you like, there's a lot of kids on Instagram who make music, and then they'll do these little strategies like. In, in the at of their post, they'll at like an artist or they'll hashtag Rich the Kid or something like that. Do you feel like instead of doing that, you should just like make good music and the artists will come find you themselves? Well, if you, if you just make that far, like, like I, I'm going to say it like this. You make people hear you, like, you basically make people hear you. Like, if you rapping and going as hard on every people, every person's song or every verse or every bar you, like you, you, everybody mess with your style, and they don't matter who you are. You're gonna get hurt because your style and so, your style and the way you say stuff and bars is so hard. But when you ride the beat, folks just, yo, who is this person? 
Like, it could be that easy. That's what I'm saying. It could be that easy. People mm-hmm. don't even, you just have to make people hear you. Like, not even just focus on making the song. Like, you just focus on yourself and be like, what can I do that this person didn't do? And this person, like, look at all the legends. What do they do that I didn't do? Type? Mm-hmm. Like, well, what do they do that I can do to help me? Well, you figure that out, man. It's crazy. You're going up. I promise you. No. I don't care who, who you are. You believe in yourself, and you just say, "I'm going crazy on anything I get on, or anything I ever, let's say, anything I run into, is is up from now. Mm-hmm. You're going to get looked at. I don't care who you are." So, do you I think? Well, I mean, that's that's inspiring. It's, it's it's good that you're saying that because yeah, there's like a lot of young people that watch this, and a lot of like upcoming rappers. So, I think that's that's good that they heard that. It, it's really about like timing and like when someone yeah, hears a song. Yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's, yeah. For sure, I want. I, I wanted to ask you. Um, whenever I watch like Famous Dex interviews or Rich the Kid, their energies are like unmatchable. Like they're they're going crazy in every interviews. Where like I can't even watch the full thing because I'm like, yo, there's no questions. This guy's just like going off off the wall, right? Um, yeah. you seem like a more like mellow, like chill kind of dude. So how is it like around them? Since your personalities are kind of different, I'd say. I'm not like a. I'm like a. When I'm pipe. Like, I be pipe more like really me. I'm I'm like the little brother in trouble. So mm-hmm. like, who the fuck I'm called? You know, like you, you really the first person to say that. Really, you seem like it. Beautiful. I don't be trying to tell me to lie. Like I'm the one that don't jump on the studio. Like, I don't want to jump on the desk. Like I'm the, I'm the one that like if we jump we come in the studio and we talk about something or everybody have a good time. I might just jump on the uh, studio table. <laughs> and, yeah, you do something crazy. They like, you know what you doing? Like, look, like, you just for sure. And, and and it probably makes it easier to make music when you guys are actually like hyped up, right? Um, what is there? Yeah. So, is there um? I had a question. Is there any like misconceptions about Rich the Kid that people have? Like, what do you mean by that? Like, people. Is there something that people say about Rich the Kid, but which is like completely not true? People. People say that, I mean, like, people say that, oh, uh, what's a good one? What's a good one? <laughs> say? Yeah, think about it. Uh, people say Rich, Rich don't fold people like that. But Rich do fold people like that. Like, he just don't, he just know, like, you know what I'm saying? He just know the, the cap and the not the cap. Like, he just know who, who, you know what I'm saying? Like, who was going on and what's, what's not going on. Like, I have I have a question. I have a question. Sorry, what do you mean by fold? I'm actually like not sure. What do you mean by fold? You said he fold, like fake kicking, like all the ah okay. Like the side come say he he he. You know what I'm saying he he want to cut to the chase. You know what I'm saying really really be energetic with you. Really want to. You know what I'm saying he could be just not messing because like he people say he don't mess, but no, it's just like he just know who. You know what I'm saying fake people who is around or who just doing that. So that's how that works. He, he just know how to he, listen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, he just, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, um, you know, another misconception question that I have is um, what's the misconception of being signed to a really popular artist? Like, for example, you know, I always thought, well, when I was younger, I thought this. I was like, you know what? If someone signed to Murder Beats, why don't they just go ask for Murder Beats? Like, yo, link me up with Travis Scott. Like, why isn't that, like, it should be that easy, right? Is that true or, or is that, like, not not real? I mean, it, it, it's not real. Hell no. Nah. Like, you got to think, like, they want to see you, like, everybody want to see you. Do like they want to see what you have, like they want to see your stat, like they want to see what you have, like basically what you signed. Like they don't just want to jump and say, Oh, just because I signed you, you're gonna have a song with Lil Wayne. Mm. Lil Wayne gonna be like, Who the fuck is this nigga? Like, I don't yeah. care who, nigga, this your, this your artist, but is the nigga good? Mm. Like, they want to, they want, they want you to make hits and get known. They don't want to just put you out there and just say, okay, he's going to get a song with everybody. He's going to get a song with Blueface, Next, Chopper, or maybe even Gunner. Mm. That, but they, the, everybody out of his name is going to be like, who the fuck is this nigga? I don't know. I don't know him. Yeah. Like, uh, you want me to do it? So 
Yeah, you did. You're my, you're my co-time, but who the fuck is you? Like, who are you, bro? So like, you gotta think. Like, right? it's not on no. It don't even be the. Those are the artists on some co-sign, and they just go take the right to the artist and do the song. It's like, well, you gotta at least somebody has to know you get known. Like somebody has to. Like you gotta get out of the streets somewhere. You can't just be. Oh, well, this is my artist. Oh, he does on everybody. This on the girl. He does on what's name. And my whole tape is on. I put it out. Mm-hmm. Be, be like, yo, I don't want to give you a. How do I? I don't know you, but what song I know you for? Yeah. I think I can give you a, a, a verse, a 12 bar verse. Just like you said, Travis Scott. Yeah. If you, if, if you're not fucking, if, if your neighbor doesn't know you and you're, and someone just said, someone just signs you, like Gigi or something, you're like, oh, Gigi, can I get a song with Travis Scott? Travis Scott's gonna be like, who the fuck is this nigga? Who the fuck is who, who is, I never heard of him, bro. Yeah. You think I'm gonna waste my time, get on the fucking mic and be, all piped up and I don't even know who this guy is. Like, what the, like, so that's why, that's a, it's not that easy. It's not just like, oh. So, so, so you really have to like build up your credibility and like try to make a hit just so like, you know, like, is, when do you think is the right moment that you can ask Rich for a favor? You, you gotta like, make, make people like, like make him see you like, popping up everywhere. Like if, if you in like say Rich, you in LA with him, but you with another rapper that got like like you know, you with another rapper, a one four seven cowboy, he gonna be like, Oh, he worth it. Like mm-hmm. that's what I like, he worth it. And then like you another rapper, oh now you a Paul G. Oh, Paul G's broke you out. So he so wants now, so he like, wants to see you do it on your own pretty much. No, 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 no. Oh, he wants to see it like he wanna see you. Basically, nah, now nah, you're yeah, oh, I can't say now you're on. He want to see you progress. He want to see you progress. There you go. Right? Okay, cool, cool. He don't want to see you doing. He want to see you progress. And so he want to see you. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. Like it, it, that totally makes sense. Like as a boss, if you have like an employee, yeah, yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna wait till he like progresses. Yeah, I got you. And if you if you just meet it, like that's like like if you just give him all the verses, all this, and then they just swap. You just damn, he just did all this work, and, uh, and nigga, you didn't sell anything. Mm. You didn't, no one bought your CD. You, when people in the crowd, no one knows your fucking name. But you gotta, you take that Travis Scott thug, thug but you're not overseas yet. You did shit with the mm. songs. You're just recording the same shit though. Yeah, I mean, man, that's, that's kind of scary even. Like, I, I would think, well, a lot of people would think that once you're signed, you know, it's like a confidence. It's like a confidence boost, right? Like you don't have to worry about anything. But I feel like that's you kind of have to worry about more things once you're signed. Like, right? That's the trick. That's the trick. You would be surprised of what can happen. No cap. Mm. You would be surprised. No cap. Literally, no cap. Real. <laughs> yeah. Um. I want to ask, what's your relationship like with artists outside of Rich Forever? Like, I I remember you said something about uh having a song with Tory Lanez or something like that. Yeah. Oh yeah. I got a song with Tory. I have some. I've been working. With tour. I have. I got a tour, and then I got. I got. Um. I just did some with Block Boy JB. Okay. Man, man, just got did two songs with. It's one song with me, him, Forty Two Dog, and then I got one with him and Young Ma. Oh, Young Ma's coming up. Yeah. yeah. And then Asian Dog. Mm, okay. Even though that's some stuff crazy though. Oh, Lil Dirk, I got a, a crazy song with Lil Dirk. Sick. Yeah, I know I know how much young artists respect Lil Dirk, so that must be huge for you. Crazy song with Dirk. And then um what else? Man, I got I got a lot of I ain't gonna lie, I got a lot of stuff. Oh yeah, me and Mighty J got like two songs, three songs on the DC. Wait, wait, uh who'd you say you and who? I'm Mighty J. Oh, okay. We got okay. Three. Mm. Three songs is unreleased, and then we might do another one. Um, do you have any? Um, do you have any songs with? Because like these people, I've been listening to them a lot lately. But eighty three babies. Yeah, yeah. I got like man, man. Listen, man. Them got like man. Them got like a whole tape, like two tape. <laughs> Yo, they're like one of my favorite artists right now. I think they made the song of the summer. It'd be awesome. Like you brothers, we talking like we jump in the studio, we jump in the studio, and really. 
like ride the song all together. Like we really talk about something. Like he might like Robert T gonna say something, then said I wanna say something, then Tony might say something. I'm gonna I'm come to that scene that motherfucker after. You know what I'm saying like it be awesome. Like we we know the chemistry. Like so we you know I'm saying keep it tight. Yeah. So but when, yeah, yeah. Like oh take but what? We got some shit. When you do decide to put those songs or at least one song out, man, hit me up. Like I want to hear, I want to hear you guys' collaboration because they're like one of my favorite artists right now, for real. Um, uh, what do you call it? Last thing I want to tell you before uh, we actually end this is, I'm gonna. So I'm from Vancouver, right? But I'm gonna be in Atlanta in October for this thing called uh, A3C Festival. Do you know what that is? Yeah, A3C. Yeah. Yeah, I know it happens in Atlanta every year, so I'm gonna be there because, um, like, I'm the media, right? So I, it's kind of like makes sense for me to go there. But um, let's link up if, if you're in Atlanta at the time. It's in October. Okay, great. Yeah, if you want me to film like your studio sessions or something like that, like let's let's do it for sure. Yes, sir. Let's talk to that. Yes, sir. <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it. Um, anyways, yo, I appreciate uh, you talking to me and definitely send me like your music as soon as it comes out. Man, hell yeah, man. I, listen, you said you ain't heard Chanel Frames yet? We made 83? No. It's out? Yes, it's always from four. Okay, I'll, I'll check it out, like, as soon as this is done. This is the male phrase. It's going crazy. <laughs> cool. Damn, yeah, you was playing. Snail phrase is going crazy. For sure. Yeah. I'm going I'm to go check that out, like, right now, though. But uh, I appreciate you. Yeah. And I'll hit you up when this is out, okay? I'll, I'll send it to you. Okay, but, man, yeah, yeah, hit me up. Yeah, I know. Okay. You and Kendrick, man, y'all know, man, which friend we got. You and Kendrick. See ya. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yo guys thank you for watching that interview i really appreciate it i just thought i would you know tap into the atlanta scene and from now on i'm going to interview a lot more artists from there um but speaking of atlanta go follow at kids dig over ig there's going to be a pretty big announcement about that um but right now it is time for the top comment so on the last video uh garov commented from one brown boy to another big ups uh yo man i i appreciate you you know there isn't a lot of brown people in this hip-hop world i guess so i guess i'm filling your void but um yeah definitely subscribe to the channel i don't want you guys to miss any new videos and watch the last video we did it was an interview with jamal crawford